Maybe wait, this is. Wait, it's recording. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, it's> just... <laughs> it's recording. So I'm Austin. This is Eliza, and today we're gonna talk about long distance. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin. This is Eliza and we are so excited to be here today. Well, I'm excited. She's mildly terrified, but she's the best. So go ahead and comment and let her know how amazing she is for doing this. But you might be wondering, Austin, don't you make videos about theology? The thumbnail was something about relationships. What's this all about? I am so glad that you asked. You see, while we do usually talk about theology, this channel is all about the gospel, and we like to talk about life, Jesus, and the journey of faith. And the gospel is not just all about theology and using big words and big books, though I like to read those books and talk about them. Really, the gospel is lived out in our everyday lives, and we are called to be people who love well, with Jesus giving the two greatest commandments being to love God and to love God others. And love doesn't just look, like I said, like reading big books. Love is hard. Theology is easy. Relationships can be difficult. And so we want to talk about what it looks like to love well, specifically in the context of long distance. Now, we are not experts by any means, but I think we have a pretty great relationship, in my humble opinion. And we have been doing long distance for almost a year now, so we want to share our experience and hopefully be able to help you if you were going into long distance or just curious about how crazy that is because it can be kind of crazy sometimes <laughs> but anyway this is eliza my girlfriend she is far smarter cuter and better than me in every single way so i'm going to talk a whole lot less from here on out and ask her some questions and i can't wait for you to hear from her she's amazing and i'm so proud of you for doing this thank you so much yeah. <laughs> Eliza, so real quick, easy question. When did we start going long distance? Um, about a year ago. Yeah, yeah. it's almost been a year. Last August, last right? Last August. Yeah, last August I moved to Chicago and the whole learning of that and talking about that could be a whole nother video. <laughs> I, pro tip, if you're getting ready to go long distance, don't tell the other person right after they woke up and haven't had coffee yet. That's a really bad idea but she's a saint <laughs> and here we are it is now july when we're making this video and she is here in west virginia as am i right now studying photography right mm -hmm. at shepherd and she's amazing you should check her out on instagram and everything because she's awesome but anyway we're going to talk about long distance so what are some of the things that we've learned over doing long distance i feel like We've learned a lot. We were kind of winging it. We'd never done it before, but we've learned a couple of things, so. Yeah, so we've learned quite a few things. Um, I know I've learned to communicate better. Mm. Um, communication is, um, yeah, really important with long distance. And um, what's that look like for you? Like, what do you feel like we've done well with communication or not so well? Yeah. Um, I think, I know we're still learning about this, but still learning to, um, communicate, but a lot of times if we're upset with, with each other or something, um, it comes out in our text, but, um, just like one less exclamation point or kind of like, passively. yeah, passive aggressively. And so it's like, so it's just. Yeah, but we've learned to call each other out um, about that, and it's really improved our relationship um, just to, yeah, um, just call each other out and um, just say, hey, what's going on? It doesn't seem like you're uh, doing well, um, because it's really hard over text because right. it's uh, like you are either having a bad day or you're upset with the person and you can't really tell. So it's just like, yeah, just saying, hey, it doesn't seem like you're off. Um, yeah, I think that's a big thing with long distance because you're not seeing each other face to face. Like if I see her in person, I know that she's hungry, not mad, or <laughs> that she hasn't had coffee yet, not mad, 
Or like, oops, I actually messed up, and I'm sure it was all my fault, so I better make do something <laughs> to get her to forgive me. No, she's amazing. I'm just kidding. But I think over text and over long distance, it can be a lot harder to communicate effectively, and I think that's something we learned. We're not people that really fight outright, but like we, like she said, we could be kind of passive in our texts. So learning to call each other out on that and just be like, yeah, we're not doing that. Mm -hmm. I think it's been really good for us. Mm -hmm. Along those same lines of communication, what are some of the ways you feel like we've learned to communicate? I feel like as far as just the methods of communication, it changes over long distance because you can't mm -hmm. just sit down and talk like this. Yeah, um, I don't know. We text almost every day, um, but of course, text, like we said, text isn't the same as talking to the other person so um i really liked how we um just we set up a time to call each other at least once a week um call each other or facetime um i know during our first semester um last year we uh, what was it like every Tuesday, Monday, or something like that? Something like Monday, Wednesday, I don't know. Uh, every other day, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Um, we uh, set up a time in the morning mm -hmm. to um, call each other and pray and start a day right. Um, and I really liked that because, yeah. um, I mean, of course, praying every day. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad thing to do. Yeah. But, um, it really strengthens our relationship with God together, and I yeah. think that's really important. Um, just having that foundation. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that has been a really great habit for us, and I think just that small act of praying together not only is it just a great way to start your day, like you were saying. But it also lets you kind of know what's going on in the other person's life that you might not know about. Like, you're praying for each other and it's like, oh yeah, by the way, I've got this big test today and I'm kind of worried about it. And so you can be thinking about that person mm -hmm. throughout the day. And it's really important to us to kind of build those healthy habits, I think. And that's been one that's been really good for us. And even in the second semester when our schedules got a little more off and there's an hour time difference, which made mornings kind of weird sometimes. Yeah. And she had 8 a.m.s every day. And yeah, that was rough. <laughs> so rough. <laughs> but that semester we started, and it was awkward at first, but doing like little prayer voice notes to each other. Yeah. And I know you weren't sold on it at first. The first time I sent her one, she's like, this is weird. What are you doing? Can you even pray and record it and send it to someone? <laughs> Theology aside, not exactly sure how that works, but it was really good. And there was something about just like walking through Chicago on the way to class or something and hearing you in my AirPods or whatever. Mm. It was a really special thing. And I think... Even taking that, like, she's super sweet, and we both love to send nice texts. We're pretty sappy people in general. But getting to go that, like, extra step and hear their voice was, I don't know, it was something really special for me. I really appreciated that. Yeah, I really like that, too. I don't know, it's just like, yeah, just hearing your voice is just, oh, it gives you a little, like, <laughs> pet. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, no, I can totally relate to that, though. Yeah. And I think, you know, along those same lines, like, with those habits of communication, goes also in line, which is, like, building healthy habits and prioritizing that person in a long-distance relationship. Because I know, for me, and especially when I first got to college, I don't think I always got this right. Like, I was meeting so many people, there was so much stuff to do. I mean, I went from small town to Chicago, it felt like there was always something to do. But making sure to prioritize, like, no, we said we're going to FaceTime tonight, like, this is important. Like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't blow off a date. I'm not going to blow off FaceTime. Mm -hmm. Which, that would be, like, a huge piece of advice for me. Like, prioritize your time with that other person, even though you're not seeing them, perhaps even more so. Really, like, respect that and make good on that and recognize that you have to say no to some things to say yes to something more important. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Okay, so another thing with communication, and this comes from Eliza's genius and sweetness and probably a slight obsession with Pinterest, but <laughs> is another way that we communicate, and I wanted you to talk about that a little bit with the journal and everything. Yeah, so when was that? It was like a couple months after we started dating. Yeah, so like April, like that first year. Yeah. I don't know. It's been like two and a half years now, yeah. if you're curious. Yeah. Um, yeah, I remember thinking that I don't know like communicating like we're talking about like 
we text every day, yeah. but I wanted some, and we lived closer to each other then, mm -hmm. and it was easier to see each other. Sure. But I wanted something more. I don't know. I wanted something more creative yeah. to um, express my feelings about you or just like whatever. Yeah. So um, I came up with the idea of doing a journal and we send it back to back and forth um, to each other and um, yeah, it's been really great. I really yeah. like it. Um, it's just, for me, I know it's easier to write down my feelings um, rather than say them. I'm not the greatest, but I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> She's not um, quite as gushy as me. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and I'm a very creative person. Obviously, mm -hmm. like you said, like I'm a photography major, so. It's art major. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, um, like last summer we had a great summer before he get, um, headed out to yeah, Chicago. Yeah, um, yeah, we did a bunch of stuff. We went on a bunch of trips, went to the beach, went to Niagara Falls, that was fun. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, and so I just wanted to capture that summer in a creative way, so um, I have this little thing that prints out pictures, so I put them in the journal um, and just wrote like a little note and just kept those memories and I'm just really excited like um, when we get married or like um, just when we get old we can look back and cool yeah see no it's been super cool seeing that journal and I know like we shipped it back and forth a couple of times where we'd come visit we drop it off mm -hmm. and I can never write something in it without going back and reading yeah. through all of it which yeah. is getting longer and longer <laughs> as the years go on yeah. but seeing those pictures and everything too it's been super cool so guys out there girls out there if you want to surprise your significant other oh my goodness when you gave that to me that it meant the world to me it was the coolest gift ever she <laughs> is Amazing, and it's the gift that just keeps on giving mm. each time you write in it. So yeah. it's actually upstairs. I brought it here, but yeah, oh. I know, I know, I know. Oh, but <laughs> anyway, yeah. So that's communication. The other day when we were talking, and we could talk about communication obviously more than that. We are no masters of it, but we're learning. But the other day we sat down to talk about doing this video because again, this was like this is so far outside of her comfort zone and she is crushing it and oh my goodness i am so proud of her let her know again how amazing she is doing but we were prepping for this video because i thought you know i'm gonna help her out like help her get a little more comfortable and i asked her like one question she's just like preaching she she's got three points i was like okay like i guess i'm the one that needs to prep so secret youtube star right here no. she's gonna out preach me any day but you made a really good point about trust and i wanted you to talk about that a little bit yeah, so obviously long distance, it takes a lot of trust. Yeah. Um, because you have to trust yourself and the other person. Um, you just have to trust the other person that um, they won't make um, just dumb decisions about um, just what they're doing with other people. Um, they're making conscious decisions, yeah. um, thinking about the other person. Um, but you also have to trust yourself the same way, trusting yourself, um, that you won't, yourself won't make dumb decisions, um, and, um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, trust is really big for me too, yeah. so, um, yeah, I'm just lucky to have someone that trusts me <laughs> and I can trust, um, but yeah, if you don't have trust, I'm sorry guys, but it's not gonna work out. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah. And again, with the big trust thing, like, trust and communication. Like, if you're, yeah. if you're starting not, if you're not, start, if... Words are hard. <laughs> <laughs> if you're starting to not trust the other person, you gotta let it, let him know or her know. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> because, um... It just doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. and I, I think you make a really good point, not to be like doom and gloom, but like if you're going 
into a long distance relationship and you don't feel like you trust that person, it is going to get a lot harder, not easier, because you guys aren't gonna see each other and it requires a lot more trust when you're not seeing each other all the time and you're not spending the same amount of time together. And I know like for us, with me moving to a new city and you starting in a new school and like both of us starting at new schools, you're meeting new friends, you're meeting new people and all of a sudden it requires more trust. And you kind of learn about insecurities in yourself that you didn't realize you had, at least I know I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's been such a great thing to work through personally and as a relationship and just realize like, you know, I say that I trust this person, but do I really trust this person? Mm -hmm. And something I think we both really value is that we both have like really good friends of the opposite sex and we both really value that. And I think obviously like that takes more trust, but I think that's been super good for our relationship mm -hmm. and I'm so thankful for you and just the trust that you extend to me and I really also like the point you made about trusting yourself because like I think it's obvious and in a lot of ways that you need trust in a long distance relationship but I had never thought to put it that way that you need to trust yourself but that's really true as you prep for long distance and you think about it I think it's a lot scarier if you don't fully trust that you're going to be able to do this thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah it's yeah yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're welcome. All right, well, those were the three main points that Eliza was preaching to me yesterday, and they are all so good. And so we just wanted to kind of conclude with a little bit of encouragement to you. I know we're at that point in the summer where maybe some of you are getting ready to go back to college and long distance is starting for the first time or starting back up, or maybe coronavirus has caused you to go long distance unexpectedly, um, or whatever situation you find yourself in. We want to encourage you that Hey, like, it can be done. We've been doing long distance and we've survived and I'd even say thrive. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw a rhyme in there, you guys oh know me. Gosh. I know, she cringes at my rhymes. Anyway, <laughs> but seriously, we want to encourage you, it can be done. Something we said a lot as we were going through this and as people would talk to us, be like, you know, how is that going? Like, how is long distance? I think something that we found was that relationally, it was actually easier than we thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. That's not to say it was easy. I don't want to like make this sound easier than it is. But we found it was easier for us relationally than we thought, but emotionally it was as hard or harder than we expected. It's, it's tough missing someone that you really love. And it's not always going to be easy, but you guys can do it. Would you say? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and another thing I guess would be um, just like knowing that it's okay not to be okay too. Yeah. Um, and there's gonna be nights that you're gonna miss him or her and um, might let out a little tear or two, <laughs> but um, it's okay um, because it'll work out. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. that's so well said and. It's been such a great thing for us, I think, in the long haul. Even though it's been hard, it has showed us the areas that we can grow in. And I'm really grateful for that. And mm -hmm. I think our relationship's better because of it. And I think that could be the same for you. And I know that we've sometimes maybe had it easier because we have gotten to visit each other and that's been super helpful. And I would encourage you as much as you can, visit the other person because it's hard and it's great to have those things on the calendar. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Truly, that means so much to both of us. Yeah. Probably more to me. And Eliza, thank you for doing this. Seriously, it meant so much to me. And you did fantastic. And I know this video is going to bless people. So thank you for doing this. You are amazing. And I'm sure you guys will agree. If you're new to this channel, this is Gospel Simplicity, a place where we are passionate about the beautiful simplicity and transformative power of the gospel. She's laughing at me because she's heard me say it so many times, but it's true. And so if that at all interests you, I'd encourage you to hit subscribe down below and to become a part of what we're doing here on this channel. And if you want to see more videos like this with her beautiful face and her amazing insight into things, let us know. I'm sure that maybe I can just maybe bribe her into making more videos with me. But to those of you guys that have already subscribed, thank you so much. If you've been sharing these videos with your friends and liking and commenting, seriously, it means the world to me and I'm so appreciative of 
you. And she is too, because for all the time that I talk to the camera, it means I'm not talking about weird theological things with her. <laughs> Thank no, you. But in all seriousness, guys, until next time, be on the lookout for more videos. And as always, go out and love God and love others, because truly, above all else, that changed the world. Peace. We love you guys so much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.